If the Minolta was simple and easy, then the Zorki is the polar opposite. There's no light meter here, so you have to manually expose and set your aperture, shutter speed, and focus yourself. And it's a bit of a workout. Basically a USSR built copy of the Leica 3. Made in a factory near Moscow from 1956. It's built like a Soviet tank and you can feel the history with every turn of the dial. These were not seemingly designed for comfort. The knurled knobs can need a bit of finger strength and leave as much as an imprint on your skin as the camera will on the film. But it's something I love. It's a reminder that what you're doing is practical and there's no electronic wizardry here. You're setting these mechanical processes in place to capture an image, just like the original users did almost 70 years ago.